So what I'm gonna do with this penny, I'm gonna cut a little slice into the lime and grab this penny and put it halfway like that. Halfway into the lime. And I'm gonna do with few pennies like that. This one 1969, this one 1964. So what I did is stuck a bunch of pennies into the lime, like halfway into the lime, just like that. And I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes to an hour and then we're gonna pull out the pennies and we'll see what happens. So time to pull out the first quarter and let's see what happens. This one 1973. You see it didn't do nothing to this coin. Let's see to the next one. Pull it out, look what happened. Why is it halfway super clean and so shiny? And this coin is 1971. Okay, let's pull out next coin. Same again, you see how it's halfway shiny. The side that was inside of the lime got, got really shiny. And why did 1973 did not change, but anything under 1971 have changed, got a lot shinier. Pretty crazy, huh? As you can see, I already cut it. Pretty much you grab your uh, wire cutters and Cut, cut small piece out of it, just like that, that's how I do it. And then you stick them in together, do the same thing on the other coin, as you can see. And then you're gonna intervene them together, and then grab your cutters and kind of force them in together. I have bigger pliers. Okay, looks like it's sitting there. Then you're gonna put it on the table and just blow on it. Alright, I'm gonna put these two quarters and blow on them. Pretty cool, huh? And it turns back. Check this out, huh? What do you think? Let me know what do you think in the comments below. But didn't say no, huh? What we're going to need to do is go up here, it's methanol alcohol, and put it in some container. Then we're gonna heat up a coin and just gonna dip it in there, and it's gonna become copper coin. Let's check this out. I'm gonna grab a coin and just start heating it up real quick. You see, it's just gonna take me a minute to heat it up. Once it changed colors to super red, now we're gonna dip it into methanol. Bring back methanol and... And just wait. And look what happens to the coin. It just changes. You see there is a double boiling point. That's pretty cool. Explain in comments below how does it happen. And now I'm gonna take it out. And look at this coin, it's super, super like copper, looks like gold coin. It's probably still hot, that's why I'm wearing the gloves, but check this out. Now check out the difference, this looks gold coin and this one looks still silver. So this experiment you can even call how to make copper or gold coin, super cool, huh? Let's try this one more time. First we're gonna heat up the coin real quick, it doesn't take too long. Look, it's already super heat. Look how fast it heats up. Now we're gonna dip it in ethanol and let's see what happens. Bring ethanol back over here and dip it. Did you see that? It it boiled one more time. Why does it happen? Why is there is like double point, double boiling point? I should film that in slow motion. Let me know in comments below if I should, if I should film that in slow motion. And now let's check this out. Look, Statue of Liberty is so, so like super gold looking style. 
Let's see it in close up. Check this out. This is what it used to look like. And now this is like super yellow, super copper. Pretty amazing, huh? Like this, you can do this on some kind of science fair project and people are gonna love it. I wonder what people would be reaction if you try to pay with the copper US quarters. <laughs> they might think it's fake, but it's not. We got this cup, you see, normal cup, empty cup. And we got this coin. We're gonna put this coin over here. You guys see this coin? See, right? And then we're just gonna move this camera and now you don't see the coin, alright? And all I'm gonna do is put this water up in there. And guess what happens? The coin becomes bigger. <laughs> what do you think? How does that happen? I want you to tell me that effect, that illusion in comments below and... Pretty much I'm gonna bounce the coin over here and spin it and then stop and the coin not gonna fall. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna put the henna on my finger like that and then balance the coin. There's no glue or anything. So it stays like that, you see? And no glue or nothing. So and then I'm gonna spin it so, so it doesn't fall off and stop it and it's gonna have to stay there. Okay, let's go. You see, it fell, fell out. Let's try this again. Yeah! And look, look. Check this out. The coin is still staying there. Just hanging. How is it possible? Takes a lot of patience and practice. Let's try this again. You see this coin over there? Just sitting there. Okay, and let's spin it. And it fell again. Let's go. Ooh. Well, there you go. Look, it takes a lot of practice. Took me at least 30 minutes to do it like first time, at least 100 tries, you know? But you gotta be patient. You see what I'm saying? It falls off. But once you learn how to do it, it's easier and easier and easier. The trick is how to start and how to stop. When I started, I go like this. Down, down, and... And... Oh, shit. So this is what I do. I put Henya that way. And I'm gonna spin it, I'm gonna go that way, that way, and spin it this way. And then when I stop, I go like boom, and stop it. Like this kind of circle, boom. You know what I mean? And kind of sway it around after. And you see the coin still bouncing there. So let's try this again. Put the hand on straight, and let's go. And boom, actually I did the the other way and the coin still there. So it doesn't really matter which way you're gonna spin it and which way the hanger is gonna stand. Whatever you're comfortable with. I would say the hardest part is to stop it, the hanger from spinning and still coin sitting there. And it is hard as well to start spinning it so it doesn't fall off. Okay, let's go down this way, this way. And you see, I couldn't stop it again. But if you practice, you're gonna be able to do it. I did it a couple times, as you can see. So we're going to put two bottles like that, or one bottle. And then we're gonna put measuring stick or some kind of stick on top of the bottles. Then we're gonna get two magnets. You see, normal magnet. And check these coins. American coins don't stick, you see? But the British coin, this is two pennies, this is one penny. You see, they actually stick. So for this experiment, we're going to need British coin. Then we're gonna put two magnets, like that. And I got the phone book just to raise up my glass because I need perfect uh, measurements from the magnet to the glass. So again, magnetizing the coins. So putting the coins to the magnet, that makes sense, very simple. But this is 
is kind of magi magical, doesn't make sense. Why is it just levitating there? Let me go have some kind of pencil and move it to so you guys know. I have this magnifying glass and if I move to right here, you see, there is nothing there. Nothing there at all. Boom. How is it possible? Why it's not jumping to the magnet? Because that's what usually happens, right? When you just put it on a magnet, something, some kind of metal, they would jump together to each other. And this is just normal magnets, any magnets. How is it possible? Isn't it crazy? Look, they, they went boom, and they fell because I moved the table. How is it possible? Why it's not magnetized to the magnet? Why is it just levitating there? Why is it not just jumping to the magnet, but instead just levitating there? And if I move a magnet a little bit, let's say up, they would just fall. Check this out. Oh my goodness, that went crazy. Whoa, that's like the fastest I've ever seen. What's going on? <laughs> wow. That's crazy. I never seen them going that crazy fast. <laughs> wow. So tell me in comments below, why do they do that when you stick it into a dry ice? Huh? Wow, that's so insane. This one died out, this one stopped. Looks like they both finally stopped. Now, another cool trick you can do with this. Moist your fingers and then when you touch them, look, they stuck to your fingers. Pretty cool, huh? This is too much fun. Of the pen and just stick it like this. And now we have a mini cannon. Then you make a spitball with your mouth, just like this, and we're gonna pull.